Hey guys, Travis here with Keller Williams Realty. Today I'm going to give you guys a Cowlitz County market overview. Show you guys what's been happening over the last two or three months in the market there in Cowlitz County, kind of the Woodland and North market. Uh, there's a lot of things happening both south of Woodland and then north of Woodland as well. I've got a video for Clark County and Southwest Washington in general as well. So if you guys wanted to tune into that, there's another video for that. But for Cowlitz County, let's jump right into it, guys. We get a thing through Keller Williams called a total market overview. It gives us a snapshot of what's happening in all price categories and then gives us an average of everything at the very bottom. So that's what I'm working off of today. So I'll give you guys the info. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me in uh, call, text, email, through Snapchat or through Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube, whatever is easiest for you guys. I'm here for you. Um, let's get right into it. So at the end of September, the average pending or the average sale price in Cowlitz County was around $302,000. At the beginning of December, the average sales price has gone up a little bit. It's up to $305,500 roughly. So that's a good thing. The average sales price is coming up a little bit. That follows suit with what's happening in Clark County as well. The one big change that we see Cowlitz County versus Clark County is what we call the pending ratio. So all the homes on the market, whether they're pending and if accept, or whether they accepted an offer and gone pending or they're still looking for a buyer, um, this number is derived from, you know, how many of those homes are accepting offers already. So at the beginning of, um, at the end of September, beginning of October, the average pending ratio was 50.5%. So over half of the homes out in the Cowlitz County market were already pending. Now at the beginning of uh, December, only 42% of homes are pending at this point. And because of that, the, the inventory on the market has gone up by a half a month. So when we look at inventory in the real estate world, we say how many months worth of inventory, and that means if there was no other homes to come on the market starting today, how long would it take us to sell out of all the homes? So right, uh, right at the beginning or right at the end of September, beginning of October, it was about two months of inventory. As of uh, beginning of December, it's two and a half months of inventory, which is a pretty substantial increase in just a couple of months. So, and that's reflected in the pending ratio as well. There's just less homes that are getting that accepted offer at this point. So there's more homes sitting on the market, of course. Um, the other thing I always like to touch on as well is the days on market. There's two categories to talk about. There's days on market for active homes, and then there's days on market for pending or sold homes. Um, and those two have a different number because obviously the ones that continue to go active are um, a different number and they sit on the market longer. So the average uh, days on market for a sold home in Cowlitz County at the end or beginning of October in that time frame was 45 days. Uh, as of the early part of December here, it's 48 days. So it increased by about three days. Um, the big change happened on the average for active homes. We actually saw an increase of about six days on that side of things. So not a huge increase, but still uh, a bit of an increase as well. And with the way the pending ratio is going, I'm sure that in the next month or so, as these reports continue to come out, we'll see uh, the days on market for active homes continue to climb. So stay tuned for more on that. But what I'd like to say on this is there, there's some simple changes that can be had for some of those homes that do sit on the market. Um, and a lot of times it's just a matter of a quick consultation to talk to you about you know, what the market's doing, how it reflects on your home specifically, and what we can do to make sure we optimize your home for today's market. So simple things like sometimes the photos are as simple as that. Sometimes your photos aren't done as well as they could have been. Every photo or every home that I sell has professional photography done, and in some situations, drone photography if it fits for the property as well. Uh, the number one seller of a home or the number one way to get people in the front door is having incredible photos online to get them to come out to the home and take a look at it in person. So that's one thing. Sometimes it could be just some simple cosmetic work um, or it could be just the price. And it really is um, sometimes just the price. You adjust the price a little bit and it can get it sold. Um, myself, in my experience, that helps a lot in my own uh, property as myself. When I sold my first house that I bought, um, my wife and I sold it. We did like a $1,200 or $2,500, something like that price reduction. And it made all the difference in the world. And it was actually last year around this time. We did that simple little change. Uh, we got a bunch more showings and then ended up selling the home just because of that little bit of a price change. Um, so if you guys have questions about your home specifically, you know, what can you do to get your home uh, to sit best on the market and be one of those homes that does sell versus sits on the market? Um, or you're just curious, you know, what, what do you have in your home right now as far as what is your value? 
Um, I can do free home seller consultations where I can talk about what your home is worth in today's market. And then as well, if you're thinking about selling and you're like, hey, what are a few things I can do to tune my house up and get more money for it? I can walk through your home with you guys and tell you a couple of things that buyers see value in that you could change quickly and get more value from your home for. So if you guys have questions about that, feel free to call, text, email, um, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever is the easiest way for you guys to get out, get in touch with me, uh, get in touch with me. Feel free to do so. Um, if you're thinking about refinancing, the interest rates are almost 1% lower than they were at this time last year. And that's a big driver on buyers getting out there and buying right now. So if you have questions and you're thinking, hey, you know, can I refinance? Well, how much equity would I have? Uh, I've got some great lender partners that I can connect you with that can talk to you about, talk to you about you know, what loan programs or refinance programs are out there and available for you and how that might make sense for you and your family. Um, or if you're thinking about, hey, can I refinance, pull equity out and do some remodeling work? Um, I've got some great contractors as well that can help you out with anything you might need on that world as well. So feel free to reach out to me. My phone number is 360-607-7472. And my email is travis.hunter at kw.com. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to uh, reach out to me. If I don't hear from you guys or don't uh, do another video before Christmas comes around, I want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Take care.